I'm Star Tribune photo editor Dan Cepeda. It's 5 a.m. and I'm riding shotgun with outdoors reporter Wes Smalling. Designer Wes Watson is in back. I'm kind of focusing on this lek here. We're looking for sage grouse. That it's uh, kind of dying out. <laughs> or at least the past couple of years it has been. Our unusually cold and wet spring has already postponed a few planned trips out for us. And there's still plenty of risk that today will be a bust. These birds can be pretty elusive. And they don't give you good directions to their singles bar of choice. We park at a place where Wes Smalling has seen them before. And we wait. And we wait. More waiting. Last donut. Mmm. Donut. <laughs> We're treated to the side of a herd of antelope rising for the day. Along with a stunning sunrise. But no sage grouse. Eventually, a man drives by and tells us to drive up a bit further. He's already seen some. Finally, success. We have to stay a good distance from the birds so as not to disturb them. The hens, in fact, are the most sensitive, and today we count eight males, no females. They strut and puff, they jockey for territory, they show each other who's boss, and they make that peculiar sound. The sound, apparently, is what eventually attracts a mate. Very few of the males will end up mating. It's a unique experience to watch these creatures, one that is becoming even more rare as the birds dwindle in numbers. Dan Cepeda, Trib.com.